What's up, everybody? This is the old man boxing fan. Well, seem like we may still have a fight May 5th. Triple G says he wants to fight on May 5th in Las Vegas, you know? And um, his, uh, the, uh, I'm glad, his promotional company, which is run by Tom Loeffler, he says anyone who booked the plane ticket or who has plan or or who was planning to come to Las Vegas for Cinco de Mayo weekend to see GGG fight, don't cancel your ticket because we're planning a GGG fight on May fifth, whether it's whether it's against Canelo or somebody else. Now he said a little bit more, but we ain't gonna get into all of that. I just want to name uh, maybe a, a couple names that he kicked around. Actually, I just want to name one name that he kicked around. <laughs> I'm going to name a couple of them, though. But um, Gary Spike O'Sullivan was one who's 27, 2, and 19. And then he got Demetrius Andre. You know, and I'm going to tell you the truth. I hope they do pick Demetrius Andre. Because Demetrius Andre, hey, if you're going if you're gonna to make a statement, this would be a hell of a statement for you, buddy. It'll be a hell of it'll be a hell of a statement. But I'm also going to look at it like this. If they're throwing your name around, that means that they know that they can beat you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they have to have some kind of something deep down inside of them to even put your name in the conversation, Mr. Andre. To even put your name in the conversation, they have to know somewhere in, 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 in their mind that they can beat you. So what is it that they seen with you where they would even throw your name up? And you know what's funny? I haven't heard anything from you neither. And now that this news has came out, hopefully um, you would say something. Hopefully you'll bring a little bit more light to the people about it, Mr. Andre. Demetrius Andre, you, Andre, Demetrius, you, yeah, I'm talking to you, bro. You need to start making some noise, man. Now that this information is out there, you need to make some noise. Make them pick you. You ain't got to be stupid about it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go hunting people down and all of that, you know? All you got to do is just, yo, go out there and, and make it known that you want that fight. We want to see good fights, man. We don't want to see chumps fighting chumps. You know what I'm saying? We want to see you in there with, 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 with a challenge. Triple G is a challenge for your ass right now. You've been kind of dormant, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I say kind of because you did get you, you you did get one that I seen in there. But that that's you, you had a you had a light you had you had a layoff though. So what I would do if it was me and I had your skill, I'm a professional fighter. And I want that spotlight. Boy, you can't get no better spotlight than this. They th they, hey, hey, look. They threw your name around, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, they threw your name around, bro. Let me say that in your ear like that. Just the fact that they even called your name out and put your name in some kind of um, um, any, it's some, something where people can read is enough for you to be able to say, you know what? Yo, look, I know I ain't the only one that's seen this. Matter of fact, this dude right here who online talking about it right now. Yo, man. Make some noise, bro.